the family of the late His Excellency President Mwai Kibaki. We have finalized preliminary plans for the state funeral of um, His Excellency President Mwai Kibaki and uh, would like the public to know that uh, this will take place on Friday the 29th of April 2022 at Nya National Stadium and uh, President Kibaki will then be uh, laid to rest in Odaya in Nyeri on Saturday 30th April 2022. Before then um, the President's body will lie in state at the National Assembly for three days uh, between Monday and Wednesday this week for members of the public and the rest of the country's leadership to pay their respects. We will issue a very comprehensive statement and plan tomorrow with details of other activities that will happen between tomorrow and Saturday 30th. But uh, I would like, on behalf of my colleagues in the National Steering Committee who are here to observe that members of the public need to be informed that for those who are in Nairobi, who would like to visit with the family. This will have to happen on Tuesday and Wednesday at President Kibaki's Nyari office. We are going to provide the details and the map to the office. And this is where any of those, especially uh, members of the diplomatic corps and any senior members of the public who may wish to visit the family or to convey their condolences in person to the family, they would go to the Nyari office uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, details of which we will give. We are going to set up a facility at the Odaya CDF office in Nyeri for members of the public because that office is centrally located in town and it will afford members of the public and the leaders from uh, that part of our country an opportunity to also visit uh, sign a condolence book and pay their respects but uh, effective uh, Monday afternoon there will be uh, condolences uh, signing uh, in very many public offices we are going to put up condolence book in the two houses of parliament, senate and the national assembly, government ministries, there will be one right here at Arambe house. Uh, members of the diplomatic corps can also visit and sign at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because there will be a condolence book there. We will also distribute by Tuesday morning condolence books to all our county headquarters uh, for leaders and members of the public across the country to visit and deliver their condolences in writing. We'll also have condolence books in our regional headquarters across the country from Tuesday morning. So on uh, my own behalf, on behalf of um, my colleagues in the National State Funeral Steering Committee, including the members of the family of His Excellency President Mwai Kibaki, who have joined us this morning. Once again, we would like to continue to pray for the nation, pray for the country during this difficult time, and pray that the Lord strengthens all of us, and especially the family of our beloved retired President Kibaki during this uh, difficult uh, moment. And finally, uh, reiterate a commitment of the government as uh, was outlined by His Excellency our President yesterday, 
that uh, President Kibaki will be given uh, a state send-off with the highest honors because of the distinct service he rendered to our country. That's all for now, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us.